Hi. Welcome to Test Prep Training. In today's video, we will discuss how to pass Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect. Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect is apt if you are planning to build a career in modern software systems. Without learning cloud technology, it's high time you get a wake up call. More and more companies are opting for cloud services, which eventually has augmented the demand of people with expertise in this skill. Therefore, it has become highly crucial to know how to handle a cloud service. Why Certification in Google Cloud Architect? It has been observed that people are involving more in cloud services and therefore, certification in Google Cloud Architect came into picture. Reasons for the same are given below. First, highly in demand and destined to grow. Second, door to a better paid job. Third, knock down the opponent at job interview. Benefits of GCP, Cloud Architect Certificate Exam First, demonstrates your skills to design, develop, administer, and manage solutions on GCP. Second, identifies you as a Google Cloud Certified Professional globally. Third, validates your expertise and skills to work with Google Cloud technologies. Fourth, results in overall improved capabilities as Cloud Architect. Fifth, add a credential to your resume and help you stand out of the crowd. Sixth, bring more job opportunities and increase your chances to get a better job. Professional Cloud Architect exam details are given in the table below. Eligibility requirements. After scrolling through the exam details, make sure you are an eligible candidate for the exam. Not everybody is eligible for every other exam. Therefore, it becomes important for the aspirant to read the eligibility section thoroughly. First, Good understanding of Google Technology Cloud Architecture. Second, ability to design, develop and manage secure, robust, highly scalable, available, and dynamic solutions. Third, proficiency in various aspects of developing solution, involving prototype development, implementation details and best architectural practices. Fourth, experienced in multi-tiered distributed applications and microservice. Book the exam. To book the exam, you can go to the official Google Cloud website. You will need a Web Assessor account. You are supposed to create a one in order to register yourself for the exam. To create, click here. Create the account with your personal email address and not your work address. Check the catalog and register for the exam you want to apply for. Choose the Exam Center i.e. Criterion Testing Center. When you register for an exam, you will need to schedule an exam time at a Criterion Testing Center that is convenient for you. You can locate the nearest testing center here. What makes Google Cloud Architect Certification Exam difficult? There is no denying the fact that Google Professional Cloud Architect plays a crucial role in building one's career. In other words, once you clear the exam, you are on your road to success. Another reason why Google Cloud Exam is difficult to attain lies in the process of certification which revolves entirely around professionally performing the cloud architect role, rather than around the platform itself. Exam Resources First, Google Exam Guide. Second, Google Cloud Platform Documentation. Third, Google Cloud Solutions Reference Guide. Fourth, Google Cloud Platform Blog. Fifth, Mock Tests. Step-by-step -step guide for exam. First, Time Management. Second, Use flow charts and diagrams. Third, explain your answers to others. Fourth, prepare on old exams. Fifth, snack on brain food. A word of advice. First, time and tide wait for none. You might have heard this proverb too. Time indeed is a major factor which can either make or break your exam. Therefore, it is advised that you spend your time attempting as many questions as possible so that you get all of them on the first try. Second, if you feel dubious between two questions, rely on your gut and pick the answer that you feel is right. Also, you can always come back to revise at the end. Third, keep yourself calm and compose throughout the exam. Reason being, a frantic mind can make mistakes that a calm mind would easily avoid. Fourth, make case studies your close friends, as they can be used to create multiple questions that are often linked together. Fifth, nothing comes with guarantee. Similarly, do not rely too much on sample papers. There may or may not be chances that you get questions from previous years. Sixth, above all, do not forget to revise. 
Revision is meant for all questions, and not just the ones that you haven't answered yet. If latter is what you do, then you need to make the necessary change, for more such videos. Subscribe our channel, and hit the bell icon for future updates. Also visit our website.